Hey, my name is Charles Parent here at JTEC, and I'm going to go over some electronic diagnostic tools on how to read your onboard diagnostics. We're going to do two different styles, uh, a handheld style and a computer style. Uh, but first, we need to do some just some identification. So if you come in here, uh, on heavy duty trucks, we use what's called a uh, a nine du shape uh, pen. This is a reader. This is the actual uh, receiver for the truck. Now, if you look at this pen, you can see that there's there's a bunch of different slots here. Some of them are actually not being used. You've only got four here. Well, this most standards today is the the J1939 setup, but this one isn't. And the way you can tell is if you look here, you've got this slot right here. This is your negative ground. It's the same on everything. And if you look right to the right of it, which is if you can, I don't know if you can read the little numbers, but there's a B on there. That's your positive terminal. It's like that on all these terminals. So, but if you look over here, there's no data pins here, but there's two over here. Well, these two data pins over here are for the 1708 type of uh, protocols. So this truck, even though it uses a Duché uh, nine pin plug, it's actually not a 1939 uh, system. So when you're using your handhelds or your computers, you need to make sure you tell it by using the uh, the 17 the J1708 protocols. So we're gonna use the uh, the Genesis Evo handheld. If you look, it's asking us what kind of pin we, we have. We're using that, and look, it says you got a standard here. You've got a 1708, and you've got 1939. We want the 1708 for this one. So let's connect it up. It's got a little notch. You just hook it on there. Now this one's all loose right here on this on this international. There we go. Uh, for this, yeah, this Freightliner. But a lot, a lot of trucks have, these are in different spots, usually on the inside or up underneath the kick, on the kick panel or up underneath the, uh, the dashes. So just look around for them. So go back to our handheld. It's like the 1708. We gotta turn the truck on. Sorry about the buzzer, there's an actual fault. So it's going through all its checks right now. Checking the different ECMs using that 1708 protocol. So those two pins you saw, those are data links. It's just like a network for a computer. It's gonna send and receive on it. So it's gonna to connect to all the, so here we go. This truck has three ECMs on it. You see that? The engine, the brake, and the instrument cluster. Our fault's actually in the engine, so we'll click on the engine. It's asking for the cable. That's just how this, this handout system works. If you look at it, it's got data stream, which will allow you to see some of the, uh, some of the data for this for this type of uh, for this truck, so the oil pressure, the RPMs, if it was on stuff like that. The benefit of having a handheld versus a computer, a standalone computer, is that you can actually connect this and drive. It's still read all your codes and issues while you're driving. So if your driver has an issue and you cannot pull it in the shop, he's saying the issue's on the road. You can plug it in, and the cables on these things are not small; they're really long. Sit in the passenger seat while, we're, while you're driving and get and still pull codes so you can see what those issues are and better test. Um, so handhelds are nice, but sometimes they're hard to use. Like this, this Genesis isn't the easiest system to use, but it's still usable. So we go down again. We've got data stream. We can select custom data streams, and we're actually going to go trouble codes. And you can record your playback to pull back to another computer. We're going to read our fault codes. And it's got a 108 fault code. Now this is on the engine ECM of a 128. It's a barometric pressure failure. So the voltage is too high, so the reference, so it's a three wire uh, sensor on here. It's got a reference value and it's just too high. So there's something wrong with the, with the sensor probably. Uh, so we can test the sensor, see if it works. So that's kind of how you use these, uh, these handhelds. Um, let me show you what, let me turn this off. Let me show you what a 1939 connector looks like. So again, this is a 1708. Let's go look at what a 139 looks like and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so what we have here is a Kenworth. That was a 2005 Freightliner. This is a 2006 
Kenwood. So it's a different manufacturer uh, and a newer year. If you come inside, this connection, this terminal is on underneath the kick, uh, underneath this uh, this panel here. If you look, you've got more data links here. Again, you still got your your ground and you've got your positive lead. But if you look, there's more data points. It still has the 1709, but these are the night. These are the 1939, 1708. Excuse me. These are the 1939 pens up here. So it's actually using all of that. Now again, this is a data network, so. This is connected to different ECUs, different modules within the within it. You got your ABS modules probably connected to here. It's all connected together. Uh, it just has more ways to send and receive information. That's what this is. So, well, that's your J nineteen thirty nine connection. Uh, we'll go check. What, we'll start. We've already done the handheld. We're gonna go use the standalone computer system. Those are your two main you're gonna use nowadays. Uh, so we'll go over there check that out and show some of the faults on even a newer view. Alright, so we're here on this uh, 2012 International uh, and we've got the gel test connected to it. So, I always show you how to connect it, but there's so many different types of computers. They're all different. Uh, and again, this is actually using that 1939 connection connected to this gel test. And this is a, this is a computer. It's a Windows-based system. It's a software in the computer, so it's not really that that fancy. Um, and we can pull codes. Let's go back. Accept. Cancel. So you got your connectors here. You select your connector. We're going to use the nine pin Duché. Duché. Just whatever. Da da da. Cancel. Scan and read faults. Might help me turn the truck on. There we go. Turn the truck on. Over. There we go. Skip. All right, so it's going to reading faults. And this is easier to use than a handheld. But at the same time, it doesn't have the ability to go with you on the road. So we're looking at analog breakings. We'll just click on the uh, codes. Now if you look, this got a system identification code. So notice that they're not red. These are old codes. They probably need to be cleared. Sensor was probably moved once upon a time. We can still read these codes. So this was like the ABS controller unit had an issue once upon a time. We can. What's great about these these desktop systems that's really good is you can actually look up a wiring diagram right here. Also, on some components, on some components you can actually find out where they are. It'll show you a picture on the actual vehicle. So here's the this is the wiring diagram. You can see what the piece looks like if you hover over it. You won't get this on a handheld system. So it is, and these little, these computer systems are really nice. All right, that's all I have. Uh, hope you learned something. And again, don't be scared of newer technology. Embrace it, that's where we're going today. So, thank you very much.